So when we're mixing two gases, we can, we'll just come up with a general way of solving and then see what we go from there. Hey, there's different ways you could do this. Because it's a before and after, uh, it's one that you could do different ways. I would, my personal way to do this is use this equation, the ideal gas law. You don't have to do it this way. To get moles, so you have P and V assuming room temperature or whatever the temperature is, you can find the moles. So I'd use this information to get the moles of H2. I'd use this information here to get the moles of helium. Since for most cases, when you put things together, they're not removing moles, then you know in this final container, the total equals helium plus hydrogen. Okay? The, and then next, I would start to think Dalton's law. So P, uh, let's say just P1 over P total equals N1 over N total. So at this point, I have all the mole terms, everything on the right. So I have my individual moles and the total moles. Then the total pressure can come out of two different ways. If this is somehow open to the atmosphere or something, they use atmospheric pressure. If it doesn't seem like it's open to atmosphere, so it's some sort of compressed gas, then you could say, well, P total equals N total R T over V total. In which case, V total is the size of this tank. So you need to know the tank size. T would be the temperature. Usually you're doing these at all at equal temperatures. R, ideal gas law constant, N total, that's from right here. So you have all those terms, so that means you have P total. So to find each partial pressure, for example, the partial pressure of helium, the N helium over N total times P total. And the same thing for hydrogen. That's the kind of basic setup I